Hey everyone, it's Philippa here. I am just here to teach you about a really easy cardio slash mini core workout that you can do at home. It's gonna have six exercises. Now, these six exercises, though, people are always asking me what kind of dose I should be doing. If I should be doing three, 10 reps, should I be doing 100 reps? Really, there's a couple of ways you can do this one. So you can do this one where you do five sets of every exercise and you do every exercise for approximately 30 seconds every time you start it. So this would be kind of like an every minute on the minute workout or an EMOM. So for example, jumping jacks is one of the exercises today. I would do 30 seconds of jumping jacks, take a 30 second break, start again at the next minute doing those 30 seconds of jumping jacks. I would do that for five minutes and then go on to the next exercise. The other way you can do this one is one that I always kind of go to whenever I'm doing my cardio workouts and it's the 60 seconds on, 10 second break routine. Um, so I do my exercises for 60 seconds. So I jumping jack for 60 seconds, take a 20 second break, and then go on to my next exercise. I would do that round approximately between 30 to 40 minutes of my exercise. However many rounds of exercises of the six that I get done in that time, um, there's that way. The last way that I'll tell you to do this, and like that's why I'm saying you guys can pick how you want to do it. Whatever your body's feeling like you can do today, that's kind of why I'm giving you a few options. You can always do the 40-20. Now, this is a, what a, a really easy way to do it. You do 40 seconds on, 20-second break. You have your six exercises. You repeat those six exercises four times. So we're talking about 24 minutes of maximum amount of work, and you can go with that. Whichever way you want to, I'll leave it to you. I'll just leave you with the exercises that I'll teach you. So good luck. and. Stay tuned. So exercise number one is the jumping jack. So I'm just jumping. These are the jumping jacks. We've all done these before. Nice long reach of the arms. Now if you've got lower body resistance issues, you can't jump. You're going to do the step out and you're just stepping out. So notice you can kind of pick up your speed this way. My carpet's a little bit moving there, but this is how we're doing our jumping jacks if you can't jump. Thanks. So next exercise is a wonderful burpee. We all love and hate these. They're wonderful. They work our whole body, but they also are a little bit hard, so we don't always like them. So if we're doing our burpees, we're jumping, step down, jump out. You can add the push-up if you're really wanting to. Jump together and jump up. So if I was doing it without the push-up, look like this. There's also the option, so I'm already out of breath. So if you can't do the jumping because you have lower body resistance issues, all you're going to be doing is a yoga burpee, which looks like Squat, hands come down, step into a plank, step those feet back forward, ready for that ball catch. Hands come down, stepping it out, step it back forward, ready for that ball catch. Exercise number three are lateral speed skaters. So this one we're jumping side to side. So notice I'm stepping right and then crossing my leg behind. If I add a little bit more room and I'll show you as I come forward, you can really keep that back leg straight, okay? This one can be done without the jump as well. So we're just stepping back and it kind of comes into that cross behind lunge. Next exercise is where the core comes into it. So we're gonna be doing plank walks. So we're plank walks. I'm in my plank position. I'm gonna find my feet on the mat and I'm walking to the side. You're gonna keep walking, walk back the other way, maintaining that nice flat back. So from the side, flat back means not rounded, push through those shoulders, Engaging through the glutes, and that holds balance. Thanks. The next exercise is can be a little bit weird. Um, there's something called a shakti kick, or some people call it the double horse kick. And I'll show you the version that's a little bit easier, and that's called a hiccup. So the shakti kick is done in almost a downward dog position from yoga. If you do yoga, we bend through the knees and we kick our butt. So it's practicing getting into that handstand. You don't get there, that's okay. Now, if you get that's uncomfortable for you, you can do the hiccup. So I'm just squatting wider than my hands in those little mini hops. Okay. Very last exercise today is our mountain climbers. Everyone loves and hates these. They're wonderful. You have two options here. You can do the running man where we're holding that core nice and tight. You can do the long lunges where people jump their foot beside their front leg. I'm always amazed when people do that. Or you can just do knees to chest whatever pace you want to do. Good luck, have fun, and as always, stay within what you're able to do for your abilities. Stop when you have pain, if it's new pain especially. Okay, bye.